What's going on everybody? Thank you so much for jumping into this video or how should I say broadcast right now. That is right. We are in a number of broadcast. Uh, every week, as you guys may know, we do these broadcasts. Same time, same well, not really same time, but very much same week. How do you say every single week? On Saturday. That's how you say Saturday. You can meet me here every week to talk about the stars. The stars that are on the ground. So I would like to thank you all, all of you stars, for jumping into the stars as we shoot for more stars. So thank you guys very much for jumping in today. My name is Danny Coldblood, A.K. Motherfucking A. Music Vidiots, and I am here in the wonderful world of Grand Theft Auto V. Do another episode of Shoot for the Stars. This week we are going to look at a very relevant and suspicious character. His name is Emmanuel Passarelli. That's right, Emmanuel Passarelli, guys. And as you've seen, my filter was black and white. That's because it's directly related to this character right here. I do want to go ahead and kind of uh, take one second here before we, be before we begin. One second. One quick, quick second to just, to just say, guys, we, we've, we've lost a star in real life recently. And uh, me in particular, I really did... Uh, you know, look up to this to this person. He was a very, very awesome musician. I'm a musician, and uh, a lot of my teenage years and everything, uh, I used music to get through. And this person was a part of that. And his name was Chester Bennington, and uh, he was part of the band Linkin Park. <laughs> So if you guys enjoyed that music, and if you guys, even if you didn't, if you guys recognize the talent and, and who he was and everything, uh, give it up for Chester, R.I.P. Chester, for for the horrible, uh, horrible situation that we just recently found out about. He had uh, committed suicide. Really sucks. Really sucks. But anyway, I wanted to go ahead and take a moment out of the day, out of the video, to, uh, to, to say, uh, you know, rest in peace and everything to good old Chester from uh, Lincoln Park. That was one star that we had in real life that just seemed to lose its shine. So, unfortunately, we are now all missing an awesome part of the music scene. Awesome person. So, now that that is out of the way, let's go ahead and get back into what we're talking about here. We're talking about Emmanuel Passarelli, okay? Now, a lot of you guys might know who this is. And if you don't know who it is by name, I'm sure you know who it is by the works of art that he has presented to us within the game. So when looking into Emmanuel, we find out that he's tied to some big-ass uh, clues and Easter eggs within the game. Um, his nationality is Italian. Um, he is alive. He's a movie director. He's a male. Okay, we got, we got some of the basics down here. We got that stuff. And here's a famous quote by Emmanuel. Okay, and it was from a movie, actually, that uh, is very, 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 very tied to this mystery. Capilavoro. He says, It is only by creative expression, a world devoid of color and unique camera angles, that our true nature can be revealed. That saying, that quote right there, has been something that I've looked into uh, often when looking into the whole mystery and, uh, you know, stuff tied into it with Capilavoro and everything. We know that Capilavoro is a billboard, um, over in the, uh, in the city. And when we beat the uh, mission Bury the Hatchet, right? After Bury the Hatchet, we can see that when we zoom in onto that billboard, there's actually like a UFO and a beam coming out of it and like two monsters fighting. So why did they have that on the Capilavoro billboard? And especially after beating the mission Barry the Hatchet. So that's a big question I always want to uh, try to look at and try to figure out why. But it says that Emmanuel Passarelli is a minor character featured in Grand Theft Auto V. Uh, Passarelli is an Italian director. C3 art house film Capo Lavoro. 
His star can be found in the Vinewood Walk of Fame. That's what we're looking at right now, guys. His name bears some resemblance to real-life Italian director Pier Paolo Pasolini. Um, and while his physical appearance and cin cinematography... Oh my gosh, I can't speak today. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, seems closer to that of Federico... Feder... Whoa. <clears throat> Fed Federcio Fellini. Federcino. Oh my God, is that like an Italian noodle or something? I sort of got to have eaten one of those before. Um, his appearance is shared by a random GTA 4 pedestrian found in business areas as well as Michael Graves. That's pretty interesting. Um, so I wanted to go ahead and I know there's not a lot to talk about or a lot here on the fandom at least to uh, talk about when looking at Emmanuel, but there's a lot to focus on when, uh, when looking at this guy. Okay, he's tied to some big-ass Easter eggs, right? We have um, Capital of World, right, the movie. When we watch that movie, it's all black and white, okay? And in the movie, uh, we have the beating heart with the chains on it. Now, it's directly located um, in the um, in Grand Theft Auto 4. It's a scene directly from GTA 4, one of the biggest Easter eggs of GTA 4 when we have the... Uh, the beating heart of the the Statue of uh, Liberty, right? We have the Statue of Liberty. Um, we walk through that door. That doesn't appear to even be a door that we can go through. I think it even says do not enter or not an entrance on it. But we walk through it and we see that heart there, the beating heart, right? And and all that stuff. And they, they seem to want to take that scene, one of the biggest Easter eggs in GTA 4, and bring it back and put it in the Capital of World movie. So why are they doing that? Why are they showing us such a huge Easter egg within Capital of Oro. Why would they choose that movie? And then again, after that mission, like I said, Bury the Hatchet, we have the billboard of Capital of Oro having that image on there of the UFO and those monsters. So Capital of Oro seems like a, a, a certain situation here, like a situation of, of Easter eggs, right? It's tied to a lot of stuff like that. Why? A lot of questions here. Okay, the film is in black and white. We see the director, okay, Emmanuel Passarelli, the guy we're talking about. We see him at the end climbing an, a ladder, like an infinite ladder up in the sky. Now, we also had that situation uh, like a year or two ago in Grand Theft Auto V where we had, uh, we don't know if it was a glitch or what it was, but there was an invisible ladder that we were able to climb like up in the air and it just went to nothing. So is that tied to that somehow? Was there an Easter egg, you know, revolving that somehow that we might have missed or not have you know, completed in such, you know, or, or whatever. A lot of questions I have when looking at this guy and the movies that he made. Okay, Capital of Oro is a very cryptic film. It brings a lot of questions itself. Like, it shows the clocks a lot. We have clocks all over the place with the, the Back to the Future time, you know, attached to it, like the 10 after 10. Um, we have uh, the, the horses in that movie. Um, horses and stuff, you know, bring us back to Red Dead Redemption. A lot of stuff to think about, and that's why I didn't want to put two characters uh, in this episode. Usually when it's short like that, and there's not a lot of uh, stuff to go and read about on the fandom, I like to put two characters in one episode to kind of make it a longer episode so it's worth our time. But today I decided just to put Emmanuel in here as he is someone to think about, someone to focus on. He deserves the focus. Rockstar decided to put a lot into that uh, movie, Capital of World, and tie a lot of things to it. So a lot of questions, a lot of stuff for us to ponder, and if you guys have anything that you want to throw out there, any um, you know further progression or evidence or uh, Easter eggs or anything that you guys might have found or noticed while you know watching that movie or anything like that, feel free to use the comments and let me know, and uh, we'll try to go from there. But as far as it stands, guys, we have this director here, and they felt he was uh, important enough to put on this final walk of fame. So that's the one thing I wanted to go out and uh, point out today was uh, him and his work and the myster mysterious mysteries behind everything. And uh, I also wanted to throw in that Chester there as uh, we all lost somebody great uh, a couple days ago in the music industry here in real life. And as Rockstar likes to focus on music and the stars, I decided to throw in that information for all of us. And let's take a look at the chat here before we go, guys. We have um, uh, iGames613, shout out to you, shout out to Rising Sun, Kairos Power, thanks for jumping in Kairos, awesome um, job at moderating guys, and he's also uh, one of the head guys there over 
at the Chilean Mystery Club on the Xbox. So he's uh, the uh, administrator over there. So if you guys want any information to get out there or anything, contact Kairos. Uh, we got Trippy Dutchman. We have um, H. Houdini. We have The Dude. What's up, The Dude? A.K.A. Illuminati. Um, Stuart Balkin. We have... Uh, Let's see who else here. I can't. I can't scroll up here anymore. I have always the hardest time reading everybody's name here. <laughs> I have the hardest time sometimes with all this. <laughs> Sorry if I butchered your name or anything like that, guys. It was unintentional. I promise, unintentional. Um. Oh, Brittany, what's going on, Brittany? James Reynolds, Chris, Saint Francis, what's going on? All you guys, thank you so much for joining joining the uh, shoot for the stars session here this week. And if you guys uh, missed the previous week's, definitely check out those uh, episodes as we always bring up one of the stars here on the boulevard and we go into detail about them all and we see if we can understand Rockstar's lore a little bit more as we shoot for the stars and try to uncover the truths and mysteries within the game. Thank you guys all for joining. It's awesome having you guys here. And uh, we'll see you guys soon for an upcoming broadcast or even video landing on the channel. A lot of good stuff coming out soon, guys. I've been working uh, pretty hard on some of this stuff, so um, I just have to figure out if I'm going to come up with a long video or a couple parts to a, uh, a long video, you know, some shorter parts. I'm not sure what you guys want. You guys want a bigger video or a chopped up parted video in little, you know, sessions, smaller sessions. Let me know what you guys want here. I haven't came up with a long video in a long time, so it's up to you guys what you uh, uh, recommend here, what you guys want. So, I think that's about it for this uh, week's episode. Thank you guys all for joining. As we look closer at another name here on the boulevard and get one step closer to understand Rockstar's lore and the mysteries within. Until we meet again, guys, take it easy. Ta-ta. And as motherfucking always. Peace.